This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thermaltake Frio Advanced CPU Cooler. The Frio Advanced is the third CPU cooler in the Thermaltake line to use the Frio name following the original Frio and the Frio OCK. The new Frio Advanced uses two 130mm fans as opposed to the standard two 120 or 140mm fans. This gives a nice balance of uh, a height of only 159.5 mil uh, millimeters as compared to the 162 that we've uh, seen is fairly typical, especially with 140 millimeter fans. On the front of the box we get a nice picture of the Frio Advanced with the black and red trim. We also see the logo for the 230 millimeter fans, the five 6 millimeter heat pipes, and also current support for LGA 2011. Uh, this has support and um, will fit on any of the current Intel or AMD sockets. Moving around to the rear of the box, we get a little bit more detail and a couple of pictures on the Frio OCK. We get a nice picture of the direct contact heat pipes, that's five 6mm heat pipes. High density aluminum fin array, um, that is going to give you a little bit uh, quicker heat dissipation through more density. The toolless installation of the 230mm fans. Vibration dampening on both the fans. Universal mounting kit that is going to support, as I say, every uh, current socket on the market, both AMD and Intel, including uh, LGA 2011 and FM1. We also get a couple of nice shots of the Frio Advanced actually mounted to a motherboard. Over on the side of the box, we've got a quick spec chart. Uh, the two specs that really stand out are the dimensions, which the 159.2 millimeter height is just a tiny bit shorter than uh, what we've been seeing in most of the tower coolers these days. That's going to give you a little bit more room to work with, especially if you're in a mid-tower case. The other nice uh, spec that we're looking at is the weight is only 954 grams, and these days a lot of the coolers we're seeing, you know, well over a thousand grams, upwards, you know, past 1100 grams. So you've got a uh, very good height to work with and not too much weight. Out of the box, the Frio Advanced is large, but definitely not gargantuan. Uh, it's a very nice looking cooler, as you can see. All done black, red, all around. Really nice top to the unit, thermal take logo. Also, directional arrows. This is a very, uh, directional cooler. Now, one of the things being, if you take a look, fans basically look identical. Typically, you'll find the back of the fan with the cage on the back as an indicator. You're going to have to keep track of which fan is which. They are uh, actually, the blades are different, so you do need to just keep track of that. But very good looking cooler, as we say. Now, it's tool free to take the fans off. They clip in and come right off, making for much easier installation in the case. When you're putting that in, putting your fans on is as simple as just snapping them back into place. Uh, no clips to worry about, to play with, just simple clip. Or I should say simple click into place. Now let's take a look at the tower itself. High density aluminum fin array. These sides will also come off if you want to get an even closer look. The top, however, is fixed. Can be taken off with a screwdriver. However, there's probably no reason for you to ever need to take off the top. And that off we see very nice nickel finish on the fin array. Copper heat pipes. Once again, five six millimeter heat pipes. Nice contact plate. Very nice milling on the bottom. And your holes for mounting. And up top, heat pipes do pop through the center plate, making for a very nice looking presentation. Good looking, very nicely constructed, very strong, nice dense CP uh, cooling tower from Thermaltake. Taking a look at the accessories, product warranty card, nice detailed installation guide in quite a few languages, and the mounting kit itself. 
Thermaltake happens to make a very nice mounting kit, very easy to work with and very sturdy. Uh, they use one backplate, reversible for AMD and Intel, two sets of in, uh, AMD brackets for mounting in either direction on AMD, set of Intel brackets, thermal grease, your actual retaining screws, which will get mounted to the cooler itself, and just a few nuts and bolts uh, because it's a very simple install. Like I say, Thermaltake makes a great mounting kit. Uh, we've used it in the past. Very easy to work with, very solid. Free Advance is a very nice looking cooler from Thermaltake. Uh, as you can see, all black and red design. Five direct contact, six millimeter heat pipes. Really nicely milled base. One of the smoothest we've seen. Uh, nice contact plate down there as well. Uh, the dual 130 millimeter fans in a push-pull configuration, a little bit bigger than the 120, without adding height to the unit, still only stands 159.2 millimeters, so it's going to fit into just about any mid-tower or full-tower case, but you're going to get a little bit more airflow using the 130s and the 120s. High-density aluminum fin array, uh, going to give you a little bit faster heat dissipation, so very good-looking cooler, tool-free, on-off of the fans and the entire shroud can be removed as well if that makes things a little bit easier for you. Really good looking cooler from Thermaltake. Uh, very nice mounting kit that comes with it also. The Thermaltake mounting kit we've used before. It is a very easy, very sturdy mounting, uh, mounting kit. So, for you advance from Thermaltake, really good looking cooler. Once again, six, or I should say five, six millimeter heat pipes. Really nice design all around.